The AWRI Ferment Simulator is a cloud-based tool for tracking and predicting the outcome of wine fermentations. It is designed for the Australian wine industry and is a free module under the AWRI Wine Cloud. This video series will guide you through setting up the simulator for first use, as well as the finer points of the algorithms and assumptions to be aware of. The Ferment Simulator uses sophisticated algorithms and particle swarm optimization to model the ferment curve from your regular sugar and temperature measurements. The simulator learns about the ferment as measurements are entered and uses them to forecast the trajectory of the ferment. This helps in the early identification of stuck and runaway ferments, helping you to intervene and correct the conditions before they get out of hand. The models can also be used to investigate the effects of different corrective actions on the ferment before going out to the tank to see what kind of strategy might work best. The Ferment Simulator includes powerful dashboards to give an overview of all active ferments, archives to keep records of all your completed ferments, and several different report formats. The Ferment Simulator can also be customised in several different ways to suit your winery's needs. The Ferment Simulator can be accessed from thewinecloud.com.au. If you already have a WineCloud account, you can sign in and find the link for the Ferment Simulator in the top right corner of the page. Your site list from the wine cloud should be available in the simulator, which you can select from the drop down on the first page. If you don't have an account already, you can sign up on the home page. The first registration page has some details about the different subscription levels in the wine cloud. The ferment simulator on its own is free or can be bundled with our other grape portal and tannin portal modules. The next page includes company details and the client manager. This is the manager for the whole account. The WineCloud has several different user access levels. These don't really matter for the Ferment Simulator, but uh, for interest's sake, they are Client Manager, Site Manager, and Basic User. Client Managers have access to multiple different sites, whereas the other two have access to single sites. From there, you input the address of the site you're setting up, and if you'd like the Site Manager to have a different login uh, from the Client Manager, you can enter their details here. Really, it's easy enough just to have one login for the entire site and share that with whoever needs it. The system can support multiple users on the same account uh, logged in at once. When you get to the payment screen, if you've signed up for the Ferment Simulator and none of the other modules, you can just click skip. Once you've registered, you'll get an email with your username and password, which you can use to log in uh, to get to the WineCloud dashboard. From here, you need to click on the Ferment Simulator icon in the top right corner of the page to be redirected to the Ferment Simulator.